There are many different types of coding clubs and ways of introducing your students to coding. This module will give you an overview of the different types of coding clubs, depending on the grade level of your students, your interests and goals in starting a coding club, and the types of technology resources to which your school and students have access. A coding club for elementary school students, a coding club for middle school students, and a coding club for high school students can look quite different from one another. Elementary school students can benefit from more game-like approaches to learning to code, along with simpler coding environments such as Scratch, which use a visual building block approach to coding. Middle and high school students can benefit from exposure to more advanced programming languages, such as Python, C++, PHP, or JavaScript, and from project-based clubs with a specific focus such as robotics, app making, or video game development. In addition, there are also various Learn to Code or Coding Club organizations in the United States and internationally. Another important factor in deciding which type of coding club is best suited for your school can be which technology resources your students and school already have access to. But it's important to remember that you can teach and learn coding in some form using almost any technology resources you happen to have access to. Mac or Windows laptop or desktop computers, Google Chromebooks, Apple iPads, Android tablets, smartphones, and even older computers currently going unused that your school or district may still have access to. So the choice of a coding club is often determined by the intersection of the grade level of your students, your own goals or interests in starting a coding club, and the specific technology resources your school happens to have access to. Let's start by looking at some options for elementary school coding clubs. Four of the most common types of coding clubs for elementary school students are Scratch coding clubs, which use a visual building block approach to coding, Lego Mindstorms clubs, which use coding to create interactive Lego projects, Minecraft coding clubs, which use coding to create interactive experiences in the popular video game Minecraft, and Swift Playgrounds clubs, which follow Apple's curriculum for learning to code using the popular iPad Swift Playgrounds app that teaches students to code in a visual way using Apple's Swift language for developing mobile apps for the iPhone and iPad. Although there are still other types of elementary school coding clubs, these are some of the most popular types of coding clubs and activities for elementary level students. You can see that the emphasis for elementary school coding clubs is on game-like and play-based activities that introduce the key concepts of coding and programming in a fun and easy-to-learn way, but which also provide a solid foundation for more advanced types of coding as students move into middle school and high school. For middle school and high school students, some of the most popular types of coding clubs include game development clubs, in which students learn coding to develop and share their own video game projects, App development clubs, in which students develop their own mobile apps for Apple or Android mobile devices. Robotics clubs, in which students combine coding and mechanical engineering to develop robotics projects or to compete in popular robotics club competitions. Web development clubs, in which students learn the skills of modern website development. And Arduino or Raspberry Pi clubs, in which students use coding to program Arduino or Raspberry Pi computer boards as control boards for various electronics or robotics projects, including interactive art projects. We'll cover the different tools, materials, and programming languages needed for these various types of coding clubs later in the lesson, but it's important to think about which type of coding club is the best fit for your school and your students before diving in to learn the specifics of the tools and materials you'll need to get started. In addition to the many different categories of coding clubs, you may want to explore membership in one of the many Learn to Code organizations. Many of these organizations have their own curriculum guides and projects that you can use as the foundation for your school's coding club. Some of the most popular Learn to Code organizations for primary and secondary students include Code.org, which has a popular series of projects and coding micro-lessons called Hour of Code. Code Club International, which is a network of free volunteer-led coding clubs for children aged 9 through 13. And Girls Who Code, which offers free after-school programs for 3rd to 5th and 6th through 12th grade girls with the aim of increasing technology and computer science literacy for female students. In the next module, we'll dive into the specifics of each type of coding club, along with the essential tools and materials you'll need to get your new coding club up and running, and some sample projects to help get you started. You may be asking yourself, but what if I don't even know how to code myself? 
While some knowledge of coding or programming is helpful, it's entirely possible to learn to code along with your students while developing new technological, reasoning, and career skills for yourself in the process. So don't be afraid to pick a starting point for your new coding club and dive right in, even if you yourself are brand new to coding.